first class, second class upper, second class lower, third class. Top four classes of a bachelor's degree program. Harvard, Yale, the University of Pennsylvania, some of the top universities in the world today. GRE, GMAT, O-level, A-level, SAT, standard examinations used to determine qualification. But we offer salvation, not scholarships. If the church could be more of an, if the church could be more of a clinic and not an academic institution where people, the best and most qualified, may gain admission. If the church could be less of an academic institution where only the best and most qualified gain admission, even if the cutoff mark be lower to 0 0.1, there be still an error if we can't make the church a social and spiritual clinic. If the church could be more of a clinic where the brokenhearted, healer, anyone at all can enter, the rich, the poor, the tall, the short, the white, the black, the literate, the illiterate, we offer salvations, not scholarships. So quit the pre-examination exercise. She did not greet me good morning. He is an ex-convict. His mother is an adulterer. Just look at the pot calling the kettle black. Shouldn't we first remove the pride that has covered our eyes like sunglasses? By the way, it doesn't make you look cute. Lest we put our hands into someone else's eyes saying we're taking away party coats. Are you Jesus on the cross of Calvary saying it is finished? Or are you the general secretary of heaven booking an appointment for God and keeping a record of who should be stoned and who should be atoned? Oh, by my standards, you should be the first to face judgment. For you're trying to convict who God has the veto power to acquit. And he did it. When he cried on cover his head, it is finished. Yes, no balance debt, no balance carried forward. So shut those microscopic eyes. And let this mind be in you, which was also in Christ, who for the joy set before him endured the cross, despising the shame. Why are you so ashamed to be seen with that new member because he is a smoker? When God came on earth as Christ, he sat with sinners, not to condemn, but to enlighten them. If your life has won no soul, check your interpersonal relationships with men. Maybe you're a Gentile, wearing the garment of a Jew. Having the form of godliness, but denying the power thereof. No wonder he will spew you out. For you mix chilled coke and hot coffee to make tea. Now who serves such lukewarm breakfast? We offer salvation, no scholarships. I know. PhD, master's degree. But until we realize... It's not because of your obedience or faithfulness, that self-righteousness. Until we come to realize it is by grace we have been saved, not by works that any man should boast. Until we realize who we are is by grace, not by works that any man should boast. What we have is by grace, not by works that any man should boast. Until then, we'll keep hiding our beastly selves under the beautiful marks of Christian. No wonder so winning is not flourishing. Because we exalt ourselves, not him. Christ exalted his father. So are we truly Christians, followers of Christ, or just Chechens, churchgoers? I hope the great commission doesn't become the great omission because we tend to do nothing. Stereotypes. No more stereotypes. No more stereotypes. Anytime we see someone with a tattoo, hair marked, this is stamped a sinner, milk for destruction, and such a milk cannot be revoked for it is far gone on the FedEx Express road of sin. But in Matthew 9:13, he marked us when he said, I have not come to save the righteous, but the sinners. But aren't we doing the opposite? Pushing the spiritually blind, depressed, oppressed. Aren't we then opposite? As an apostles of opposites, whose command do we obey? Our spirit or our instinct? Medicus. I said no more medicus. Comfortable Christians chilling in their houses with all manner of daily manner of scripture, drinking five gallons of the cup of salvation every morning, cross-legged doing nothing. But they're also cross-eyed to see the cross-wise decision Jesus made on Calvary, an avenue for the great commission. And when he said, Father, forgive them, for they know not what they do, or do we not really know what we're doing? Going clockwise instead of crosswise, so the time is never right enough for us to make the hay. So for us, we would rather be on OK or clock. I've been saved to stay safe and not to save, but we should snatch them from fire. Amazing grace was not playing hide and seek when it found me. It was not a game when Jesus took the whip or carried the whip. No actor will play the role of savior for uncountable euros. 
So I beg your pardon. Don't pay Chaskele with this love which was bought by a saint's blood. We didn't score 10 over 10 for him to give us love to such infinity. Infinity because even when we place your infinix over your Bibles, your looks over his wounds, your reputation over his crucifixion, your personality over his gospel, his love is too infinitely abounding. Like daily bundle, his mercies renew every morning so we don't get outdated or expired out of life's constantly updated challenges. This message is for you. This message is for me. They said, show me your friends and I'll tell you who you are. Jesus sat with sinners, ate with tax collectors, yet he was none of this. So I say, show me your friends and I'll tell you who you're not. What walls of Jericho we have built between us and the lost. But the message is strong. Jesus is not for a few or some. It's not selective evangelism. Jesus is not for a few or some, not even for many. Jesus is, the, Jesus is for the world. For the Bible says, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. So I say, no more judging people before you know their names. Christ folks don't do that. Christianity is not a honorary degree. If you carry the title, then do the responsibility. So I say, no more hiding behind I fast seven days a week, tithe twice a month. All these are nothing. If the few years of sinners cannot walk up to you as with Jesus and ask, what can a man do to be born again? This message is for you. This message is for me. That the church is not limited to a building. The church is outside everything, that building. This message is for the strong. It's that Jesus died not for few, some or many, but for everyone. This message is for the world. So when you see them, those people be stereotyped for condemnation. Don't show them the mirror as the Lord does so they can see their guilt and imperfection. Just show them Jesus as grace does so they see the blood and Calvary praying for their salvation. It's about soul winning, not church popularity, not church building, and not church members stealing. It is soul winning, a life-changing mission. The message is one. Jesus didn't die for a few, some, or many. He did for the world, for God so loved the world.